Good afternoon. It is Wednesday, June 10th, day 89. And this week I started reading the Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes, the newest Hunger Games book with my BFF. So we're going to read it together and chat about it. So that's one of the things that's going on. But today also we are about to go and do a pretty big thing and I'm not going to give it away, but um, you'll see because I'm going to video it, but it's gonna be big. In the meantime, I am working on trying to clean up the house and do laundry and dishes and all the fun stuff that is never ending. So let's go and see what today brings. So we're on our way to do our thing, the thing that we're gonna do, which I haven't said it yet, but it's probably in the title of the video. Yeah, probably. <laughs> probably. Uh, but I'm gonna take you into film when I get a chance to go look at it. Okay. I just got this on my showroom a couple days ago. Oh, really? Um, so, as I'm sure he informed you, this is our last one. Yes, he one did. Right <laughs> now. Similar to your na neighbor, right? Yes. <laughs> so, similar to your neighbor's boat. You're it's got have storage. storage back here, That's which is nice. A good amount of space, too, yeah. Oh, you, you just wait, then there's way more coming. <laughs> <laughs> so, then there's some more storage right okay. there as well. Perfect. And then, obviously, you know, a nice feature of the jet boat. Yeah, to have, have to the. Worry about a prop back here, and you can hang out back here yeah. at lower speed. Yeah, absolutely. Let's go take a look inside. Okay. In order to get access to your motor for whatever reason, little tab down here. Okay. Just lifts right up. Nice. All the stats, you know, it's a 1.8 liter motor, so it's the 180 horsepower. Okay. Um, they've been running these for a long time and had a lot of success with the reliability. Good. This cushion right here also is removable. It does remove, yeah, so you could step so over it and everything. The boat, they, you, know, you don't have to worry about getting your cushions all messed up. Perfect. In order okay. to get the battery to fire up, mm -hmm. the batteries are right down here. So then it'll automatically turn on the blowers, you know, to blow anything out from the previous trip. Perfect. And then in here is where you kind of get your central hub. So if I want to turn the blower off, it's just right there. Oh, the timer okay. Is right there telling me until it'll turn off on its own. Okay. And then interior lights will be right here. So see the LED lights kicked on. Oh, yeah. The display okay. There. Um, kind of hard to tell in the showroom, but no, it definitely it, has it, a lot of yeah. light to be able to see here. Um, you could access really anything from here. So there's navigation as well. Okay. Turn on your lights in the front. Then you got your anchor lights as well, as well there okay. too. This is where you'd run your music through. So. Oh, so you click there we go okay so just connect it to yeah your so bluetooth. i'll do bluetooth for right now everything can run through here so okay nice and then you can control the volume through here so i'm on low volume mm -hmm. and then about halfway right there okay oh yeah it gets loud okay yeah no that's great this is how you do your cruise control Okay. You're in awake mode, so you know, idle up, idle down to get more control in the mm -hmm. water. Um, so then, you got your port and your starboard motor, so it'll show here your RPMs oh, okay. as they go. So obviously, it's not on right now, but it's not going yeah. to change. But you can get a, more of a true idea of what the RPMs are. You know, so if you want to make a hard right turn, you can pull this and actually reverse mm -hmm. or forward. It'll make you turn sharper. Here would be if you wanted to do USB for your oh, phone, perfect. So you could charge your phone or play music through USB. That's great. Okay. And then this is where your phone could go in. So oh, okay. Yep. Yeah. That's great so that they have that. One goes right there, and then you can mm -hmm. actually twist sideways. Nice. If you want. Horn's gonna be there. Keys there and there. So this goes down as well. So if you wanted to see, you know, through the windshield versus okay. above it. And then down here, I'm gonna reach it to the right. If you twist it once to the right like that, mm -hmm. it'll rotate side to side. Oh, okay. I go to the left. If it wants to go. On me. <laughs> So now I got some extra room. Oh, to oh Kevin's going to appreciate that. Cup holders. Yep. Cup mm -hmm. holders. Lots of cup um, holders. And the and bathroom then, is under there. Yeah, so you, your husband said you were really interested in that. So. <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> Definitely so me. you actually have to add that in. Oh, okay. With it. They just okay. come with the actual space for it. Gotcha. And so then you would install it out. Okay. And then this is going to be your biggest storage right here okay. on the entire boat, um, depth-wise. So this is your ski locker. So twist up and then it gets pretty deep in there oh and it wow goes way far underneath oh there. yeah no that's a lot so, yeah, of honestly space. that's where most people put their life jackets that's yep. extra storage mm -hmm. again yeah so that twists like that yep. it looks off okay and then you can actually if you wanted to lock it into place let's say you know you're going in and out or for some reason you just wanted the divider you can oh yeah clips in just like that well yeah we do have two year olds so yeah, yeah. <laughs> that would be nice to keep and them then, from even oh, the wind oh. this closes as well. So if you're trying to cut down oh. on wind 
come into the yeah. back. Yeah. And then they twist into place right here. Oh, right yeah, here. I see it right yep. there. Okay. So that's how if you really wanted to cut down on wind. That's great. Then you got storage here and here. And what's, nice oh. about the, what's nice about the boat you guys are looking at mm -hmm. is it's got the hinges. So you don't have to be like, here, hold the cushion while I right. dig through it. Okay. So, oh, a lot of storage great. here. And then that's the leg for your table right there, the metal piece. Okay. And then this is actually cushions. There's some in there as well. Oh, okay. Those are actually cushions and you can turn this into like, I'm gonna close this just for a second. Yeah. You can turn this and they fit in here and it essentially is almost like a, you know, like a fold, just all cushions in the front of this thing. Oh, nice. So it would be almost like a bed. That is awesome. Place. And then there's your other two speakers for the front. Yep. So you got the two big ones in the back, two okay. little smaller in the front. Oh, yep, okay, I see that, yep. Anchor's gonna be right here. Okay. And then it's got a ladder that comes off the front as oh, well. Oh, nice. Which is nice, you know, if somebody needs to board from the front. Yeah. It sits right in there, all the rope and everything okay. goes in there. Getting out of the boat to go for yeah. a swim, you can have them go from the sides. Oh, you can. Here. Oh, so cool. You can okay. take your cushions out so nobody's walking all over yeah. your cushions. Yeah, no, that's great. There's so many little There is a lot places. of little things that, yeah. There's so many little different accessories, you know. Absolutely. Make it a nice boat. Does that open at all, or yeah, yeah. it does? Okay, that's what. It's, it's okay. going to be the same as the other side. Yeah, and then that yeah, comes yeah. With okay. Free igloo cooler. You guys aren't going to be doing any salt water stuff, but if you were, these are the flush points here and there. Okay. And this just screws out. And there's a little adapter that slides right into this. Oh. Then you put the garden hose in, and you run water to flush salt water out that's of the motor. That's great. Okay. And uh, but the only thing is, I'll get the camera. Yeah. Never flush water into the motor without the motor running. Okay. So turn it on first. And then, then flush. Yeah. Okay, perfect. Oh, hmm. storage here. Oh. Well. I forgot to show you that. There's oh, so many little yeah, storage spots on this. And then yeah. you have a lockable glove box down here. Okay. You wanted to put something valuable in there. Perfect. And then the netting that's mm -hmm. in here, rest right in there. Okay. Down in that corner over there, you also have the... Um, you can control your music on your front. Oh, you know, okay. Swim, you yep. guys are all hanging Perfect. out the back of the boat. You can control the music. Sounds well. good. Showed you all the cup. There's so many cup holders. Yes, on the yes. <laughs> was, um, I mean, how many drinks are you having? <laughs> well, at once. Yeah, not <laughs> not usually. And then I'll show you the tower. Oh, back. yes. That would so be if great. If you want to just, usually, obviously, you ride with people. So I always have somebody hold it right here. Right. Just hold it up. Oh, okay. Yeah, so that way it doesn't go slamming down. It, it won't. I mean, I can hold it up myself. But it's just for extra safety. <laughs> So these twist out. Okay. I'll just take my hand out of the way so you can see. Oh, you're fine. <laughs> I tied this one extra tight. And then it'll just fold down. Okay. Let it down nice and slow. So if you're going under a bridge or something, oh. it rest based off those cables right there. Okay. And it folds down like that. Perfect. Um, and then if you wanted to store it with the tower down, there's two, I'll get these so that way you can see it. So okay. these are two little metal brackets right here. Okay. And so then they sit in like this and then you got, I mean, you don't have to do this every trip, just if you're storing it for the, the winter and you oh, okay. have a ton of wear and tear on yeah. the cables. It's just nice because you can use the bracket to hold it in place. Yeah, so it's sturdier. It's a strong thing. cable, but uh -huh. it's honestly a peace of mind thing. What's the good news, my man? Good news. Ah! Whoa. <laughs> Gonna be heading out in a few hours to sign some documents for our new boat. <laughs> We're gonna have a boat. We're gonna have something to do this summer. <laughs> yeah, we're buying it just for this summer. Yeah, and then we'll sell it after the summer. Yeah. There you go. Now we're excited. So Kevin went and signed the papers. So now we officially own a boat. It won't be delivered until next week. And so maybe we'll get out next week on the boat or the week after. And hopefully we'll do a video of our first time going out on our very own boat. I just finished reading my first section, which was the first eight chapters of the Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes. And it's really good. It took a chapter to get into it but it is actually turned out really good. And I'm reading it with my BFF, Amy, who, by the way, if you don't follow her on Instagram, you should. Her name is the Animagus Black, and I will put it in the, in the description section. You should follow her. She takes great pictures. They're beautiful and colorful, and she features at least one book each post. So it's definitely something if you like reading or you wanna hear about reading, she's definitely someone to follow. But we talked today about the first six chapters and then I just finished the second, um, the seventh and eighth chapter. 
And so we gotta talk about it again before we move on to the next section, but it's turning out to be a really good book, so I'm excited. Makes me wanna reread the Hunger Games series again too, which I might after I'm finished with this. That was today though, and I'm going to get some rest. Don't know what's gonna happen in the next few days, but we'll see. Until then, we'll see you at the next Meyer Marker. Thank you.